Hi everyone! Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Yesterday was our M day. Monday, good job. And tomorrow is our W day. Wednesday, great job, my friends. Okay, my weather watchers, I hope you are keeping track of the weather on your weather graph. I filled in another sunny day for today. Okay, today is game day. We are going to play two different kinds of games of bingo. And you know who loves game day and wanted to come and play with us? Here he is. It's Clifford! Oh, Clifford's so excited. He wanted to come and play with you today on game day. So I hope you have your game boards ready. We have the alphabet bingo game. Okay, this one with the lowercase letters. And we also have the rhyming bingo game board. So get your game boards ready and get something that you can put on the spaces when we call out the letters or the rhyming words. I'm using my cubes, okay? A three-dimensional shape, the cube. And I'm going to put that on the spaces when the rhyming word or the alphabet letter is called out, okay? So make sure you have all of these things ready so that we can play, all right? Are you all set? Oh, wait a second. That's right. Clifford's right. We should begin with a prayer. Okay, so I'm going to put Clifford down right here, and he's going to pray with us. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's remember we're getting ready to celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus on June 19th. So let's say the Our Father prayer and ask Jesus to please bless all of us to make those who are sick well, and to bring peace to our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I hope you're ready to go. Clifford, choose which game board first. Okay, Clifford chose the alphabet bingo. So have that game board ready. Clifford's going to play on this one while you play at home. So I will be the one that picks the cards out and calls out the letters, okay? So have your game pieces ready and have your board ready and we'll get started. Okay, and when you get a bingo, I want you to yell bingo nice and loudly and Clifford will probably do one of his movements too. Okay, let's get ready. All right, Clifford, I'm gonna put you down over here and Clifford's going to play off to the side and here we go. I have my cards. I'm just going to shuffle them up. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. All right, Clifford. I have to make more room for Clifford. He takes up a lot of space over here. Okay. Here we go. I have my cubes ready. Clifford's got one in his paw ready to go. All right. Oh, we have the free space. Don't forget, put a cube or a marker on that free space. All right, so the way we're playing bingo, if you get anything, if you get going across all the way filled in, just one line, or straight up and down. So when you get all those filled in, call out bingo. All right, here we go. First letter up. Can you tell me what letter that is? Good, the letter O. The O can make two sounds. Ah, as in octopus, and O as in ocean. And I bet we're all excited about being able to go to the ocean soon. All right, so let's look for an O on our board. Do you see one, Clifford? Oh, yes, Clifford found one. So he's going to put an orange cube on his. Okay, here we go. Next letter. What letter is that? Now remember, they're all lowercase. Good. Lowercase k. K, k, k. Uh, let's think of a word. Can you think of a word that starts with K? 
Kite starts with K. Good. And I'm sitting in my kitchen. So that starts with K as well. And Clifford loves to play with kittens. Good job. All right. I hope you found that letter K on your board. Clifford's choosing a red cube. And let's see. Is there a letter K? Yes, there is. Clifford found a letter K. Hope you're doing well, too. Keep looking for those letters. Next letter up. What letter is that? Good. Lowercase g. 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 All right. I think I'm thinking of a word. Garden. I just planted flowers in my garden. G. G. And game. We are playing a game right now. So look for that letter G, lowercase g on your game board. Clifford's going to use a blue cube. Do you see one, Clifford? He does. All right. So Clifford has found another uh, game piece on his game board. I hope you did too. All right, next letter up. Go. Letter C. Good. And it's sign language. It's like this. K -k -k. Cat. Good. Cake. Yummy. How about cupcake? I hear the letter C two times. And click. Camera. Good. Look for that letter C on your game board. Lowercase c. K -k. How about cotton candy? That's a fun treat to have in the summer. All right, Clifford. Let's see. He's going to choose an orange cube. And he found a C on his game board. Nice job, Clifford. Oh, he's so excited. Look at him. He's having so much fun. All right. Next letter up. Here we go. Ooh. You know this one. X. 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 Good. And we hear the, the letter X in X-ray, but we also hear the sound at the end of a lot of words like fox, box, fix, mix. Can you find an X on your game board? Clifford's going to use a green cube. Is there an X, Clifford? Yes, there is. He found one. Wow. We are filling up our game board. How about you? Next letter. I know you know this one. T, 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 turtle. Very good. Find that letter T on your board. Clifford's going to use a blue cube. Is there one, Clifford? Yes, there is. Anybody have a bingo yet? No? Okay, let's keep going. Remember, if you get something across or straight up and down. Okay, let's keep going. Next letter up. What letter is that? P, good. P, P, P. Pizza pie. I had pizza the other night and it was delicious. It made me happy inside. Can you make the letter P in sign language? Good job. Can you find the letter P on your game board? Let's see. Clifford's going to use a red cube. Do you see a P anywhere, Clifford? Yes, he does. Okay. Wow. Here we go. No bingos yet. Let's do the next letter. All right, now you might say that looks like the number one, Mrs. Heyman. Yes, it does. But lowercase l, good. L, l, lollipop, lemon, lion, good. Okay, I drink lemon water. I put lemon in my water. So I have lemon water every day. Clifford's going to use a green cube. Do we have an L? Yes, we do on our game board. How are you guys doing? Any bingos yet? No bingo here. All right, next letter. Good job. Lowercase h. Hot. It's going to be hot outside today. Very good. And on the farm, we might find a horse. Good. And in sign language, happy. Good job. Where's that lowercase h? Clifford's going to use a blue cube. Do you see one, Clifford? He found it. And it's right there. Good job, everyone. Keep going. Next letter. Good job. Lowercase d. D, d, d. Remember in sign language, d? How about dog and donut? And dad, we're going to celebrate Father's Day in June. So look for a lowercase d on your game board. Clifford's got orange. And do you see a lowercase d, Clifford? Hmm. Oh, he found one. Ooh, Clifford's almost out of bingo. Get ready, Clifford. You need one more letter, and Clifford.
Alfred's got a bingo. I'm so excited for him. Here we go. Next letter. Good. The letter Y. Yeah. Yeah. Yo yo. Yellow. My favorite color. Can you find a Y on your game board? All right. Let's see. Clifford, let's try a blue. Do you see a Y? Yes. He found a Y. And guess what? Clifford has another line where he needs only one more letter. And he's got a bingo, so he could have a bingo going up and down, and he's got a bingo that could be going across. Okay, Clifford, let's go. We're almost there. How about you? Here we go. Next letter. Z. Good. The last letter of the alphabet. Z. Z. Zero. Zebra. Zoo. Clifford's going to use a blue cube for that. Where's the Z? Okay, he found one. Any bingos yet? No, no bingo yet here either. Okay, let's keep going. N, 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 N. Can you find the letter N? Nut, no. Oh, let's see if we can find that letter N. Let's use a green cube. Oh, Clifford does not see an N. I have to double check and help him. There's no N on this game board. Okay, no N. So we didn't have a letter to find. Let's keep going. What's this one? Q, good job. Qu qu quarter, queen. Why? Clifford has the letter Q, quiet. Okay. Any bingos? No, not yet. How about you? No bingo yet? Let's keep going. What's this letter? M, mm, milk, money, man. Let's look for letter M. Clifford's going to use an orange cube. Do we have an M on this board? Let's see. I'm looking. You look on your board. You know what? I have to look a little bit closer. I don't see an M. I want to make sure. No M on this board. Okay. How about you? Did you get a bingo? All right. Let's keep going. What letter? I, eh, eh. I can make two sounds. Makes the short I sound, eh, like an itch, an iguana. But it could say the I, like an ice cream. Ooh, my favorite. And Clifford found an I on his game board. And he's going to get a bingo. Any bingos? Not yet, Clifford. Let's keep playing. Here we go. Next letter. Lowercase e, eh, eh. Elbow. But E can also say its name, eel, eel. Okay, that swims in the water. Okay, so let's look for a lowercase e. <gasps> Clifford found one, orange cube. All right, still no bingo, but he's got one more in another row, and he's got a bingo. Let's keep going. What letter? A. A can make two sounds, a ah, as an apple, or A as in ape. Let's see if we can find it. A lowercase a. Clifford, do you see a lowercase a on your game board? Yes, he does. It's right there. Do we have a bingo? No, no bingo. Do you have a bingo? Let's keep playing. All right. How about this one? V, 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 vacuum, volcano. Okay, let's look for a letter V. Up, oh, Clifford found one. There we go. Oh, wow. We're so close to a bingo on so many rows. Let's try another one. What letter? R. R, R robot. Roller coaster. Who wants to go on a roller coaster in the summer? I do. All right. Clifford's going to use a green cube. Do we have an R? Yes, we do. And what do I see? Clifford says bingo. Clifford got a bingo. Clifford got a bingo. Clifford got a bingo. Hip, hip, hooray. Look at that. He's wagging his tail. Did anyone else get a bingo? I hope so. That was an awesome game of alphabet bingo. Super job. Clifford wants to play the rhyming bingo game now. So clear your board. Take off all of your pieces. I'm going to put all of my cubes back. Okay, and I'm going to get my next game board and we'll play the rhyming game. Okay, so here's the game board. And the way we play this game is that I'm going to pull out a card with a word on it. 
And then we have to find the picture that rhymes with the words on the board. So let's look at the words. We have well, house, be, frog, lock, sing, car, bat, fan. So what we have to do is when I pull up a word, we have to listen to the sound at the end of the word and see if we have a word on our board that rhymes with that. Okay, this is a little bit trickier, so we have to use our listening ears. All right, Clifford, are you ready to go? Clifford, are you ready? All right, Clifford's ready to play. Let me get him set up and you get your game board and your pieces ready. Here we go. Okay. For, oh, let me shuffle my cards. Okay. Here are all the cards. I'm going to shuffle them up. Here we go. Now we're just going, for, again, same bingo, straight up and down or across. We don't have a free space in the middle. All right. So let's go. My first word is ran. Ran. Anything rhyme with ran? Let's see. What do you think, Clifford? All right. Clifford thinks it's something in this row. All right. So he's thinking this row. So let's see. Ran B. Does that rhyme? Do you hear the same sound at the end? I don't either. Ran sing. No. How about ran fan? Yes. You hear the rhyming sound at the end. Ran fan. Good. So Clifford's going to put a green cube on fan. All right, here's our next word. Thing. Thing. What do you think, Clifford? Thing. Oh, Clifford says to look in that same row. Oh, that's exciting. So let's see. We already have fan with a cube on it. Clifford says there's a word that rhymes here in this row. So let's try. Thing B. Thing B. Do you hear those rhyme? I don't either. Let's try the second one. Thing sing. Thing sing. Do those words rhyme? Yes, they do. Yay! So Clifford can put another piece on sing. So now we have two filled up. All we need is a word that rhymes with B, and we've got it. Well, let's let's think. Before I even pull up a card, B, what could rhyme with B? We have to hear that E sound at the end, B. I thought of a number, three. Good. How about outside? Tree. Good. And free. So I just thought of three words right now that could rhyme with B, but I don't know what's next in our cards. Blouse. That doesn't rhyme with B. So we have to keep going. Blouse. Blouse. Clifford, can you give us a hand? Clifford says it's in the middle row on your board. So I don't want to lift up my pieces and lose them. So let's do it again. Let's I'll do it and call it off. Blouse bat. Do they rhyme? Blouse bat. Do you hear the same sound at the end? I don't either. Blouse lock. Blouse lock. Do you hear the same sound? I don't either. Clifford's right on the next one. Blouse house. I think we have a rhyming word. Clifford, you are so smart. That's right. It's going to put a blue cube on house. Blouse, which is another word for a nice shirt. And house. Those rhyme. Okay, let's keep going. You know this word. S-T-O-P. What word on your board rhymes with Stop. Do you see anything? Clifford shaking his head no. There's nothing on there that rhymes with stop. Let's try a few. Car, stop. B, stop. Do those rhyme? No, they don't have the same sound at the end. So, can't fill in anything. Let's go to the next one. Far. What do you think, Clifford? Oh, Clifford just put his paw on the first row, far. So let's do those. 
Go to your first row, straight up and down. Whale. So let's see if they rhyme. Far whale. Mm -mm. Frog far. No, but they both start with the F sound. F -f -f Frog far. But they don't rhyme because they don't have the same sound at the end of the word. Let's try the last one. Clifford's already putting a cube on that one. You must know a lot, Clifford. Here we go. Far car. <gasps> he is right. Way to go, Clifford. Okay. So we now have a piece on the word car. We don't have the bingo yet. Let's keep going. Make. Make. Do you see anything on your board that can rhyme with make? How about B? Make. No, because at the end of make, I hear a k sound. So I don't see anything that rhymes with that on our board. So let's go to the next one. Dock. Oh, so if you have a boat, you might put it at the dock in the water. Or sometimes it's fun to walk out on a dock over the water and look out at the ocean. Sometimes people fish off of a dock. All right, Clifford says go to your middle row. All right, so we already have house. We can't do that one. Oh, I see a bat. Let's try that. Dock, bat. Do you hear the same sound at the end? I don't either. Oh, how about this one? Dock, lock. Oh, we did. We found another one. Good job, Clifford. So everybody cover up the lock. All right, so now all we need is a word to rhyme with B or bat or frog, and we have a bingo. All right, we have three choice, chances. Here we go. Rail. A rail is like what you hold on when you're going up steps, up and down. A rail. Ooh, Clifford says go to the first row, so let's try. Rail, frog. Do they rhyme? No. Rail, whale. Yes, Clifford, way to go. He's going to put an orange cube on that. Oh, we are so close to a bingo. How about you? Let's see. Here we go. Next word. See. Oh, Clifford's starting to get excited. He found the last one to make a bingo. Can you find it on your board? See. All right. Hold on, Clifford. Yes, Clifford sees it. You don't want to be stung by this. That's right, A, B. Good job, bingo. Clifford found a bingo. How about you? He's wagging his tail. All right. Clifford is wagging his ears and wagging his tail. He found a bingo. And I hope you found a bingo on your game board too. That was so much fun, boys and girls. Thank you for joining Clifford today on game day, bingo day, okay? I wanted to save the end of the video to give you some special, wonderful news. Our friend and classmate Harper is now a big sister. Isn't that great? Yay for Harper. I got an email yesterday saying that Harper's little sister, Summer James, was born. So we send our congratulations and we ask for God's blessings on baby Summer and Harper and the whole family. So please join me in prayer as we pray the gentle Jesus prayer for little baby Summer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gentle Jesus, now I pray. Listen, please, to what I say. Make me gentle, kind to all, just like you when you were small. Amen. God, please bless baby Summer. Please bless Anaya's baby brother. And we also have to remember that Owen became a big brother again this year in pre-K too. So please bless his brother. So boys and girls, we have been so blessed by God to have three babies born in our pre-K two school year. Thank you, God, for all of your wonderful blessings. And until we meet again, my friends, remember that God's love and Jesus' love is big enough. So spread that love with all the people that you live with. Okay? And Harper, we hope you enjoy being a big sister. See you soon. Bye.